years older than you, you just put it, they made sure to kept the pants together, and you, you filled out so you can wear them pants. If you didn't, you had to double up the pants. Have the first, him up or pleated. <laughs> Before pleated came out. Or his shoes. See, we don't understand stuff. See, that's the stuff we don't understand. The power impartation. See, the power impartation is this. It defies physical laws. When the children of Israel were coming out of Egypt to get into the promised land, they lived their life in impartation. I'm going to tell you why. Because their clothes never faded. And their shoes never waxed over. That is, that's the impartation. That's when you know. See, I know that Apostle Burgess and Apostle Early is all in my veins. I know that just as well as I know anything. I know Apostle Buford is in my veins. And I still honor the impartation. That's why I never disrespected it. Even though I'm over here, he's over there, I don't disrespect him. I don't spend time talking about him, talking against him. Because I understood, and I still understand, the law of impartation. And if that's the case, the impartation they gave to me, then I, as a wise master builder, as a steward of that grace, as it said in 2 Corinthians 4, the second verse, it talks about we renounce the things of dishonesty and hid things of dishonesty. Let's go here. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. I wanted to have all this time so I could hammer her away. I told you a long time ago I had a teaching call out and called now what? So many folks say, I didn't call. And now they're ready to go do some stuff. They don't know that the Holy Spirit wants to work in you first before we do anything. Let's check this out. Verse 1 says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. Mm -hmm. What was the ministry? The ministry that removed the veil in the chapter before. That we see him through a glass that's no, no longer darkly. And that I'm changed into the same image. In other words, everybody has the same goal. Everybody has the same reputation. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Verse 2, But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor having the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, committing ourselves to every man's confidence in the sight of God. Not just church people. Every man that knows you has a good conscience concerning you. Amen. I don't care what nobody thinks. I know that's what we say. That, that right there is, is, is such a... I hate when folks say, I don't care what nobody thinks about me. I do. God does. How you figure that? Man should see your good works yeah. and glorify your father. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. yeah. So God is concerned about you too. And what you produce. Mm -hmm. But impartation says, I won't handle the word deceitfully. <laughs> that word established means to be stable, to be firm. And we said it, to be on steroids. That means you can do stuff you never could do without the impartation. Oh, yeah. Got one right here, prophet. Prophet is began and came in, laid hands on her one son. I went through courses, three of them, to prophesy. Yes, she had one Sunday. God just blew my mind. She didn't have to go through the curriculum. She didn't have to be activated. She had to stand in a group and switch groups. <laughs> spend eight hours out of a Saturday. <laughs> Three times. Yes. She got it. That's what impartation to do. Most true, authentic impartations never are sown to you in seed form. It's sown at full maturity. So, that, so when God sows an impartation to you, mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. what, you would've, what would've took you years to get? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God bypassed Kronos mm -hmm. and brought you right into Kairos. 
the wear, the tear, the fight, the struggle, who originally housed it, who had to tailor made it, to tailor make it, to fit them, all the struggles, and you don't get to see all that. You don't see the birthmark, the stretch marks, you don't see all that. What took them to stay up all night, you don't have to stay up all night. You see why I have a great respect for men and women of God that's been in my life? Because what they sold in my life and what I had the opportunity to sit underneath them and give them honor. That what took them 20 years took me three. That's a new radicals person. Not just sitting in church and just listening after one good sermon after another. I'm telling you, something God blew my lid off on John 17. I have never seen something. I ain't gonna share it tonight, but it just blew, it changed my whole view about ministry. Just changed it. And God gonna bring every house, every house that exists that's apostolic and prophetic. I don't care where they are, those that are watching, I don't care what house, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna feel that tremor. <laughs> because you're gonna take every false facade, every shaft, every counterfeit is gonna be removed. And somebody say, well, when he say remove it, they're going to kill somebody. No. God don't destroy things. He'll let it stay up. His approval, his signature is not on it. His presence is not on it. And then can continue on. Remember when David started, to, he took the, David was over here in Zion with one box. They were in Mount Gibeon with everything except the box. Everything that Moses did, Hundreds of years later, they over here serving something that didn't even have a real substance. Mm -hmm. They were slaughtering stuff, and David over here dancing and singing and spinning. Yep. <laughs> the veil was removed, nothing but glory in the Shekinah. Boy, y'all get that next week. Yeah. All right. And number two. They understand the importance of supporting the vision at hand and are willing to become an apostolic resource center. Romans 15. Let's go there. Come on, y'all. Y'all looking at me all glazed eye. Romans 15. I told you. It's going to, I just want to show you something. If you say you a pneumaticals man, a pneumaticals woman, a pneumaticals person, I'm, I'm a pneuma person. I operate under the Presence and government. What's the other one? All right. All right. With Romans 15 and 25. But now I go unto Jerusalem to minister unto the saints. For it had pleased the pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem. During that time there was a slight famine in Jerusalem. And Paul was telling the church in Rome that those in Macedonia and Achaia was sending to you to support you mm -hmm. and to support Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to understand that Philippians is connected to that, with Macedonia. Mm -hmm. When he wrote to the church in Philippi, that's why they had, he supplied, God supplied all their need. Yes. And the reason why they can claim that scripture that all of us have bogusly taken out of context is because mm -hmm. they were givers. Yeah. If you don't sow carnal stuff, you can't reap spiritual stuff. That's right. That's good. Oh, boy. Somebody say, watch the pocketbook. <laughs> uh, Twenty-seven. It hath pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual gift, their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. In other words, there should be an external witness <laughs> of what God is doing with you internally. Amen. In other words, you just can't sit in a church and glean from a church and not sow back to the church. Pneumatical. He said, I've sown to you carnal things. Why? I can't reap spiritual things. 
Or you, I've sold you spiritual things, why can't I reciprocate carnal things from you? First Corinthians 9 11, it's the same thing he's talking about. Mm -hmm. So when you say you're the you mean you understand that we are a distribution center. Yes, right. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Nothing worse than having a ministry that pe and having people connected to a ministry and a vision that don't understand solely. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can know God in his totality without having a nature of giving. God so loved that he did what? Oh, okay. Help me out, somebody. He gave. We just wrestle. We so minuscule in our thinking. We wrestle with ten. This church kept Paul going for six more years. I believe there's a realm of surplus that God would bring us to. And see, this is a scary thing because I think we kind of don't understand it. It, it, it. We think that when somebody mentions money, we hear all. <laughs> yeah. Immediately, everything go on alert. You can hear a little thing in the air. You can hear windows coming down. <laughs> Gates coming up. In the spirit, that's what I can hear. They're like, oh, here we go again. He wanted it all. Dang, what I said. What I'm saying is God wants us to be so instantaneous because we have such a respect for the spiritual things yes. that the reciprocation of carnal things is natural. Yes. Yes. When you know God has brought you to a level of spirituality. Mm -hmm. I would say something, but I'll leave it alone. What we hear. When the last time you went to the one that you adored and honored and said, here you go. Mm -hmm. I appreciate 